these eternal enemies. There's this old spiritual war that goes back millennia. I think you know what I'm talking about, President Trump. And when she says that in the back of his mind, you know, this ancient evil that animates him is saying, oh, she's on to me. The, the, the forces of light, the ancient forces of light coming up against me. She's going to go and battle him on the, on the astral plane. She's going to go out there. She'll, you know, meditate and ascend to a higher realm and duke it out in the shadow realm, you know, somewhere else. And she'll say, oh, I, I fought you a thousand years before. And I know she's going to do it. She will bring the country back to the light. She'll bring the country back to Thoth and the Anunnaki, <laughs> Marianne Williamson, will reunite us with the fallen ones, with the fallen Anunnaki race. She will raise Thule. She will raise Atlantis from the sea. She will raise the consciousness to a higher dimension. I can see this happening in my third eye. She is aligning the chakras. You remember dragon energy? I think she's actualizing it finally. So, Very esoteric wisdom being on display tonight. Most people couldn't get it, but people that are in the know, people that are in tune to these things, we understand what happened cosmic shift in energy, very substantial, a disturbance in the universe, the astral shield protecting our dimension. It's just got 10 astral units higher, just got more ascendant. Marianne Williamson is calling for a complete and total shutdown of the ghost zone until we can figure out what the hell is going on. Welcome to Astral America. Welcome to the astral realm first. I'm your host. Anunnaki. I'm, I am your host, the Ascended One, the Ancient One. I'm your host, the Lost One. And we have a great broadcast for you tonight. This evening we are talking about crystals. <laughs> this evening we are talking about the Earth's mantle and the crystals that lie within. Donald Trump is not going to be beaten just by insider politics talk. He's not going to be beaten just by somebody who has plans. He's going to be beaten by somebody who has an idea what this man has done. This man has reached into the psyche of the American people and he has harnessed fear for political purposes. So Mr. President, if you're listening, I want you to hear me please. You have harnessed fear for political purposes and only love can cast that out. So I, sir, I have a feeling you know what you're doing. I'm going to harness love for political purposes. I will meet you on that field and sir, love will win. 